Hello, welcome to Board Games with Niramas. I'm Joseph and I'm here today with a really excited Drac over there holding the box of God's Love Dinosaurs from Pandasaurus Games designed by Casper Lapp. And today we're going to play a two-player game. It's going to be fun in this live stream. I hope that the sound in the live stream is working fine. Tell me in the live chat if there's any issues at all and, you know, tell me in the live chat if you are excited for this God's Love Dinosaur Games. And this is during the digital spiel, of course. We're doing these live streams every day. We're doing another one later today. It's going to be Seven Wonders Duel with its new expansion, Agora, in just a few hours. And then tomorrow there's going to be Unlock Star Wars and also Small World of Warcraft. And Draco is excited because, you know, yesterday we did a live stream of New York Zoo. So Draco had these lovely animal meeples even then. But now, you know... He can actually, well, he's not going to eat them, but, you know, it's all about eating because this is a strategy game of food chain management. And here I agree. So we are going to um, try to grow our dinosaurs by eating the, the predators and the prey out here. And yeah, we'll see how that works when we start playing. Now, first of all, we have all these lovely meeples down here, different kinds of animals, rats, rabbits and frogs and tigers and eagles and of course, the dinosaurs themselves. And we start off on a little, well, sort of planet or, you know, our little area here with the dinosaur. And we both have, you know, a frog, a rat and a rabbit that we, our dinosaur can eat later on. We're going to try to expand this area and make it in such a way that we will bring in predators and so on because we want to get eggs. We start off with three dinosaur eggs. We can use those in order to hatch new dinosaurs, but there are also points. So we start off with three points each, basically. Draco is over here. We have a little glass Draco meeple to indicate that this is his egg nest. And yeah, we're going to start playing. Now Draco, the game rules, says that whoever has the sharpest teeth uh, get to start. And well, you know, that shouldn't be a... Um, competition at all because you know Draco really he doesn't really show his teeth much but I think he has really sharp teeth at least so Draco is going to start he's going to pick one of the tiles out here and these are double tiles so uh, you get two types of um, environmental area with each one here and you also get the animal on it so oh I should actually fix my lights I just realized there we go and now you can see it a little bit better here Totally forgot to turn on my lights. Okay, so I think Draco wants a Draco. Draco loves all animals, obviously, but I think Draco wants a predator. So he is going to grab this tiger out here, and the tiger comes with two of these uh, jungle forest spaces, and now he has to place it around in his area. He can place it the, anywhere he wants. It only has to connect to uh, one other. So you can place it like this if you wanted to. And I think he wants to build a large forest over here. So he's going to put it like this. And he's going to put the tiger right there. And I just put the animals on the actual tile so I don't forget to, to bring them. Um, so that was his placement. Now, nothing else happens right now. But if this had been the last tile in this column, since we're playing a two-player game or in a three-player game, you only use the top two rows. In a four-player game, you would use this bottom one as well. If this had been the last tile in this column, then we would have activated the tigers because this is the tiger column. And you'll see later on how what happens when they activate. They, they're going to eat each other, basically. <laughs> All right, so it's my turn. And you can also we also have this little volcano that we, we can use to um, keep track of whose turn it is. I'm gonna have it to the side and I'm just gonna use it at certain points during the game. So let's see, what do I want to grab? I think I want to grab this one here because it has a mountain and also a forest and I get a little rat. And the reason I'm taking this is because I want to create another mountain over there. And mountains are good because in the mountains the dinosaurs can hang out. So there we go. And again, no activation of the frogs since that was not the last tile in that column. So Draco's turn. So does he want? I think he wants more, more prey. And I think he wants to get some different types here. So he's going to grab the rabbit with the, um, the water area and. The fields. He's gonna put it 
like this. Right, and we are going to build out here, so I hope I have enough room. I might have to move some animals on later on here. Okay, my turn again. Do I want more? I kind of want a predator as well, so I think I'll take this one here. That would activate the frogs. Yeah, that's okay. I'm going to grab this. I'm going to put it like this and i don't i don't have to put like forest next to forest but it will make sense uh pretty soon so let's do that and i have my eagle here as well so that can start eating some stuff and now since now i will take this volcano because now i want to remember that this is my turn because now i have empty out a column so a few things will happen uh first of all the frogs will activate and when the frogs activate they will try to spread and the way it works is since I have one frog over here, it's gonna the, the other frog is gonna spread to a, an adjacent water space. Oops, <laughs> there we go, messed up my word. Uh, so I get one more frog. Now this on, only happens if there's an empty space of water next to it, and the, all the prey works the same. So the rabbit wants to spread to another field, and the rats want to spread to another forest tile. So, and this will happen for everyone, by the way, it's not just for me. So Draco is also going to get a frog. And Draco has place, you know, room for two frogs. But he, he will only spread to one here since he only has one frog. So he's going to go right over there. Then, because I also, there's another special thing happens here. Because the dinosaur out here was in the, he starts off in the frog column. That means that the dinosaurs will now activate as well. And when the dinosaurs activate, they will move around and eat stuff. So... My dinosaur here, he has to go up to five spaces and he has to eat something. So he needs to pass through at least one of the prey, other animals or the prey. Now, the best thing for me would be if he's actually eating a predator, a eagle or a tiger, because then I get another egg and that's how we get points. Also, the reason I took a mountain space earlier was that I want to be able to move like he has to land on a mountain space and he could go like one, two, three, four, and go back to where I started. But I want him to land on another mountain space because then I free up this space and later, next time the dinosaurs activate, I can use an egg to hatch another dinosaur over here. So that's what I'm trying to go for here. So I think, let's see, one, two, three, yeah, yeah. I think he is going to go, he's gonna go here. He's going to eat this little rat, sorry rat. Then he's going to go here, he's going to eat the eagle. And when he eats the eagle, I get an egg. So, one point. And then he's going to go back, two, three, four. And he's going to end up in that mountain over there. And that's how you get points. Also, the actual dinosaurs themselves are worth one point at the end of the game also. So, I right, right now I have five points. I have four eggs and one dinosaur. And let's see, then it is Draco's turn. Draco is going to do the same thing. He's going to activate his dinosaur. But he cannot, he doesn't have another mountain space. He can't land in that. I don't think, I don't think Draco will eat his tiger actually. Because the thing is, you have to, if, if you don't eat anything, then the dinosaur will go extinct. Or he will be starving. But I think Draco will eat this rabbit. He will go one, eat the rabbit. And then he will just go back to the mountain so that the dinosaur is fed and happy. So then that was the whole activation. Now we will move the dinosaur one step forward. So next time he will activate is when we empty out this column over here. Now also um, I will you know turn this back here to the supply because that was just you know I just had this to remind myself because a few things happen especially if you're a four player a lot of things happen right. It's good to keep track of who uh, whose turn was it actually. Also, since we activated the dinosaur, we will refill every column that is totally empty. So in this case, this one is empty. We'll put two new tiles here. We have another tiger. And we have another frog. Okay. So that was my whole activation. Now it is Draco's turn. So what do you want to do, Draco? Hmm. I think Draco is going to go like this. It's going to take this rabbit with the fields he's going to put it up like this and the rabbit goes there and now 
we emptied out the column of the tigers. So now the tigers will activate. And Draco likes this because, you know, I don't have a tiger. So I'm not going to get any benefit out of this. Draco is the only one that will get to move and his tiger. And the tiger also eats prey, uh, just like the dinosaur. But when the tiger eats prey, or when he moves around, he's, it's a little bit different. Because the tiger can move up to two spaces and he can change direction. He has to end his movement on a prey space. And if he moves through, like it's not going to work right now, but let's say Draco's tiger was over here, then he could have moved one, two, eaten two frogs, and that would have made a new tiger out here. He would have been you know, breeding a new tiger. So that's how the, the, um, the predators multiply. But in this case, the only thing Draco really can do, because he has to eat, otherwise the tiger starves. I think Draco will just go and eat the rabbit that just showed up. He's going to go one, two, and eat the rabbit. And he's happy about that. Okay. So I, get to, I don't get any activation, and we are not going to refill because we didn't activate the dinosaur, we only activated the tigers. So back to me, my turn. And let's see, I could get more frogs. That would actually be good. So I think I will take the frogs. And let's build a huge um, swamp or water area down here. That looks good. So now I have three frogs. So when the frogs activate, I will be able to populate these two spaces with new frogs as well, which is a good idea. Then again, my dinosaur is pretty far away, but I'm going to get another dinosaur. Yeah, we'll see how that goes. There's a lot of strategy involved in this. I'm probably not playing the best strategic game right now because I'm teaching it and I'm helping Draco out to handle all these little animal meeples. It's really hard with, you know, his dragon paws to handle those small meeples. So he's playing with some. He's been playing with them all day. But So Draco's turn. What does he, what, mm, what, mm, what do Draco want? I think Draco really needs a mountain space. What he's going to do, he's going to take this one. Now this doesn't come with any animals, but this is a wild space. This can count for any kind of terrain, which means you can move another, you know, creature or animal can breed into this space, multiply when you get that activation. So that is a good idea. And he's going to put it... Maybe he will put it like this. Actually, he wants to. Maybe this is better. I'm going to put it like that. And nothing will activate. So we go back to my turn again. And what am I looking for? Hmm. Don't know. Don't know what I am. Uh, I mean, if I take any of these, that will trigger an activation. That could trigger a activation of. The dinosaur, but do I want that? That is the question. I'm not really sure if I want to trigger the dinosaur right now. I mean, I would get another dinosaur, but I'm not really sure it's the best time to do that. So instead, I think I will get myself a tiger. I will take this. I'll take this tiger over here. Because I do want to have like all the different animal types since. They might, you know, Draco might make them activate, and then I don't want to miss out on that. Let's place it like this. Tiger's out there. And it looks like now it's pretty good, because, you know, I want to have the tiger within two spaces of a prey, so that he doesn't starve when the tigers activate later on. I mean, at some point we need to activate the dinosaur, otherwise we won't get new tiles. So it's Draco's turn. And... Draco doesn't mind if the... Yeah, Draco wants the dinosaur to activate, so he's going to take this one. He's also going to give him an eagle. And I think he will place it... He would probably want to eat... He wouldn't mind eating a eagle on the way, actually. Wait, it was like that, I think. Yeah. Um, so I think he will place it like this. So now, first of all, since we are in this column, the rabbits will activate. So let's take this. So we remember that it's Draco's turn after all this. So that rabbit will multiply in there. Over at my place, I will get a rabbit there. Then the dinosaurs activate. So Draco's dinosaur. And now go. I don't think he wants to eat prey. I mean, eating prey is basically just so, so he doesn't starve. You want to keep the prey... So that the predators eat the prey, so that they multiply. So 
I think he will go one, two, three. He will eat this eagle, which means he gets another egg. And now he has freed up his uh, starting spot so that he can, you know, multiply or breed his dinosaurs, you know, hatch an egg later on. So I think he's pretty happy with that. Over at my place, though, first of all, I will spend an egg in order to hatch another dinosaur. I have two now. Then let's see how they are going to be moving and eating. I mean, I only have two mountain spaces, so they will have to be back at the... I think this guy will go. They can't be in the same space as well, so I think he'll just eat the rat and go back. Should I eat the tiger? I don't think so. I think this guy will just eat a, a frog. Because I just want to keep the dinosaurs alive. I don't want to eat my predator right now. Because I want my predator to multiply later on. Alright, now we will also refill over here. So let's refill everything that is empty. So it's this one. A tiger and a wild terrain there. And then we will refill over here. And as you can see here, I'm taking the tiles now from the B stack. And then the C and then the D. And when we empty out the D stack, that is how the game ends. So there we go. So that was Draco's whole turn. Now it is my turn. Oh, the dinosaur should move as well. He should be over there now. I could trigger him again, but I don't want to. I don't want to trigger the rats. I wouldn't mind triggering the frogs, actually. That would get me another mountain space as well, which is also a good idea. I think maybe that's what I am going for. Let's take this. I get another tiger and I get this tile. And I think I want it like this, maybe. I keep bumping these. Uh, there we go. So, new tiger. And that will trigger the frog activation. So, I will get a frog. Oh, I get two frogs. I can choose where I want to put them, and I think that's good, and that's good. Draco will only get one frog. He has two frogs, but he only has space for one. Because, you know, they have to go adjacent, and that's over there. And if he had put these in a little bit different order, he could have put a frog on the wild base. But yeah, he, yeah, he didn't plan for that. So, that was the frogs. Where does Draco want to go? I think he kind of wants more rabbits. So maybe he should start off by just taking this. And he gets another tiger. And this will get him closer to the rabbit activation. And he will just keep building his huge area here of lanes. Right. My turn. Hmm, again, I don't want to trigger the, I don't want to trigger the rats. At some point I want to, but before I do that, I'd rather have more rats out there. i eaten all my rats, that's the thing. I could go for a wild. It activate the eagle, but nobody has any eagles, so. But that would get me more frogs. Yeah, let's do that. I'm grabbing this. Uh, get me even more frogs, and I'll place it like this. And that will activate the eagles. Nobody has any eagles though, so nothing happens. And it is Draco's turn. I think Draco now... Yeah, he's gonna, he's gonna take this. It's gonna trigger the rats and the dinosaurs. So first of all, he needs to place this. And I think maybe let's move these eagles a little bit. Let's put it like this up here. So now he will put the will activate the fro uh, the rats. So we get a rat there and a rat over there maybe. Yeah, that's good. And then we I don't have any rats. Then we activate dinosaur. He moves forward and Dracula's dinosaur. But well, first of all, he will get a new one. He'll pay an egg. Breed a new dinosaur. And then this one will just eat a rat and go back. This one will eat a frog. Go back. No, he shouldn't eat that frog. He should eat this frog, actually. 
Because when the frogs activate, then Draco can get two frogs in that setup. All right. So he didn't get any points. He didn't eat any predators. He want to keep his tigers. He wants the tigers to activate soon. So then over at my place, dinosaur wise, I think I would do it like this. I will go one, two. I will eat these. The tiger will get me a new egg. That's a point. And then three, I will land in that mountain. And this one will go one, two, eat a rabbit and land in. Oh, he wants to go back. Three, four. Yeah, he wants to go back because now I can get a third dinosaur in my nest. My starting tile. All right. I think that was pretty good. So that was Draco's whole, like I forgot the volcano, but that was Draco's whole activation. Now we will also refill since he moved here. So we get two new tiles over there. Another eagle. A rabbit. There we get another eagle and a rabbit. And finally, froggy and a rat. All right. Oh, so what do I take? What do I take? Hmm. I mean, a, a, an eagle would be nice. And I do want to get frog activation. So let's let's go for this one. And when the eagle activates, by the way, he will go three spaces, but he has to go in a straight line. So I want to put him some in some way so he can eat a bunch of animals in a straight line, which could be this actually. Then he could, you know, dive down, eat some frogs. Yeah, that makes sense. So Draco's turn. Does he want to activate? Well, he kind of wants to activate the tigers. Let's, let, he's going to take this. So he gets another tiger and he's getting closer to activating the tigers. And he wants to put it somewhere where the tiger can eat a bit. So maybe like this. Yeah, there we go. Then my turn again. I think I will go for a rabbit and getting the frogs activated so i'm gonna place this like that and first of all i will do my um frogs so i can get a total of three frogs now which is really good really set this up nicely here so this guy will multiply in there this will multiply there and this will multiply there so i have a lot a lot of frogs now in my kingdom well, it's not a kingdom in my world Draco, though, he will only get, well, he also gets two because he can go into the wild space. So he gets two frogs. Okay. Okay, Draco, what do you want to do? He looks happy over there, though. Has his little frog and so on. Um, I think Draco will do the tigers. Now, it kind of helps me out as well, but... I think he's going to do it anyway, because he do he he wants to get another mountain as well, so this is a good tile for him. So he'll take that. And let's put it... Put it like... This. Put this here to remember it's Draco's turns, because now we will activate tigers, first of all. So, this tiger will go... One, two, you can move two, you can change direction. He's going to eat both of these frogs, and the frog that he passed through, that will become a new tiger. There we go. This guy over here will just go one, two, eat a rabbit, just not to starve. But this one will eat two rats, and this rat will be enough food so that he can breed and get another tiger. Draco has a lot of tri tigers out here, which is really good for him now, because now he will move his dinosaurs. Hey, Pandasaurus Games! In the chat. Draco looks really happy for this game. He really likes it. Um, and Draco is going to move his dinosaurs now. So let's see here. He could eat a bunch of predators. But he, remember, he needs to land on a mountain space, so how could he do this? He could go one, two, three, four, five. He could circle back but he kind of wants to get this space unoccupied as well 
Did it go one, two, three? Yeah, it could go uh, like this. One, eat that. Two, three, four, five. He ate two, so he gets two eggs. That's not bad at all. Then this dinosaur will go one, two, three, four, five. And he will go back and he gets another egg because he ate another predator or tiger over there. So he has, what is it, five? And you can exchange five of these eggs for a, a golden egg. So Draco has six, seven, eight points in total. I have six. But I haven't done my turn yet. So, yeah, what's there to not to like about dinos? Well, I, the only question I have in this game is like, where does the dragons fit in? Like, the, the dinosaurs eat the predators, the predators eat the prey. I assume the dragons eat the dinosaurs. That's how it goes, right? So, anyway. Now that he's done here, he's freed up this bot, so later on he can breed another dinosaur. That was his plan. Now it's time for my activation. So my tiger could go one, two. And you can do this simultaneously if you're playing multiplayer and everybody's into the game. Uh, you don't need to do it like I did here and, and do it one at a time. But he, I will get another tiger over there because I passed through it. Then my dinosaurs, I will spend an egg. Get a third dinosaur. And I just hope I can feed all these guys now. Let's see how I work this out. So this one can go one, two, and he can go back three, four. I get another egg. And then uh, this one will go one, two, three. Oh, it can't make it back though. Wow, I don't think this one can eat because he needs to eat and then move back within five movements. I don't know if they can move simultaneously because then they could switch places. Not really sure. <laughs> I think they move one by one, right? I don't think they can. But can they move sort of? Uh, each of your dinosaurs. Yeah, I, I think they activate one by one, which means otherwise they could have just, you know, take, you know, switched places with each other, which would have been nice here, but yeah, so this guy can at least eat this tiger. That gets me another egg. And sadly, I think this one will starve because like he can go one, two, three, he can go and eat a frog or eat a rabbit, but he has to, yeah, I have to move one dino at a time. So he can't make it back. Which means he, 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 that's not a legal move. So I think sadly this one will starve. Which means maybe it was stupid of me. Yeah, it was stupid of me to put this guy in. Because I paid an egg for him. If I had been planning this out a little bit better. If I hadn't been filming and all. Then I should probably just have eaten something. And then like one, two, three. You could eat in a frog and then landed here. It would, be the, it would look the same as it does now. But I would have one more egg basically. So yeah. Well, I'm you know. Oh yeah, I can end on the same mountain I started on. The problem is I, I don't have the reach. So he can go one, two, three, eat the rabbit, but then four, five. He won't make it back to the mountain, right? Um, so that's not gonna work. Yeah. Yeah, exactly, Nick. You you need to if you have an equal amount of mountains and dinos, they have to go back to where they came from. So you want to get more mountains. Basically, I guess you want to have one free mountain, so that way you can circulate the dinos. If I had like a mountain over here, I could have, yeah, I'm, I'm going to build for that. But okay, I think we're done with the activation. Let's uh, remove the volcano. And now we will also move the dinosaur and we will refill. So we start over there. That's the last of the uh, B tiles. Then we'll go into C. We get another, oh, more mountain, a lot of mountains here. That's nice. And there we get a rat and a rabbit. And that was Draco's turn. So it's back to me. And I kind of want to get the, I kind of want to get the eagles activated actually. And it wouldn't be bad to start getting some more, I don't know, I eat in all my rats. So I want to get some rats in my uh, system here. So I start eating rats again or start breeding rats again. That would be nice. <laughs> yeah, I killed the dinosaur. I, I feel bad. But, uh, you know, there, I, there's more coming. 
I have eggs. Okay, so new rat guy over there. Nothing else happens. It is Draco's turn. And he doesn't care for activating eagles. What does he want to activate? Um, tiger sort of, I guess. Oh, because he, well, he kind of wants to activate the dinosaurs. But he needs more animals. He needs to activate more stuff. So he's going to take this. Because that gets him a fourth uh, mountain, which is awesome, and a wild tile, and activating rabbits. And so, where does he place this though? Where does he want... this is really the puzzle here. I think maybe this is good. Because that's within five spaces of both his dinosaurs, so they can move around on the mountains. I think you want to have the mountains in a pattern, so they can move around, right? So I think that's good. Now this will activate rabbits, so Drak will get a rabbit, and they will put it like that. I will get a rabbit. Goes there. And I guess that's it, right? So... Hmm, I, well that was Drak. I kinda want... Yeah, let's, let's do the eagle, why not? So let's take this. And that's also gonna do the dinosaur, so that's pretty cool. So, another frog. I have so many frogs by now. Just go like that. And then we do... I'm going to take the volcano. Then we do the... Um, okay, so the first time we have an eagle activation. Hey, Connor. <laughs> I do play better as a werewolf than as a god. <laughs> Alright, so this eagle is going to fly, he's going to swoop in, he can go three spaces, so one, two, three. He's going to eat three little froggies, and that's going to be so much food that he can breed two more eagles. Like that. Okay. Then Draco doesn't have any eagles, so we don't care about that. Now, dino activation. I'm blocking my home space, so I can't get another dino, the... the hatchery but I place my mountains too far away so I can't do the switcheroo really right now <laughs> I can if I go oh yeah, yeah I can but I don't want to have yeah okay I'm gonna I'm gonna eat a frog so that's one two three four yeah so two three four he's just gonna move up there eating a frog so he doesn't starve this guy will just go one, two, three, four. He's going to eat two eagles. So that gets me two more eggs. And now I'm ready to hatch another dino. But I also need another mountain before I do that. Otherwise, I'm going to end up in the same situation again. Well, you're learning, <laughs> I guess. Then over at Draco's place, the dinosaurs, he doesn't have that much to eat, actually. But he's going to spend an egg, first of all, to hatch a third dino here and that guy can just go he can go one two three four eating a tiger getting him another egg this one can just eat a rat just to stay alive and this one can go one two three eating a tiger oh he doesn't want to end up there by the way he can go eh, it's just gonna eat a frog why not we're running low on prey, both of us, so you know, we need some food. Hey, Silke! Okay, so that was the activation, now let's refill. So, this column will be refilled. And... This one, and when the dinosaur gets to the end here, he's just gonna circle around back to the frogs. We're also going to have a rat... A frog... Tiger and an eagle, okay. Come on, eagle. All right. So that was my whole turn. Draco's turn. Okay, so he needs more. He needs... We both need breeding of prey. And we kind of... Yeah, we want to save the dinos a little bit, so... Frogs, like... It is a problem now, I realize, because, like, Draco has emptied out his whole frog place. He's not going to be able to get new frogs in there because he surrounded it with other tiles. So he needs to start like a new frog. I think he's going to start a new frog area over here. Uh, like that. And my turn. 
I want I want rabbits. Grab this guy. And let's put him down next to the dino here, I think it's good. Like that. Draco will grab. Uh, I don't think he cares for the tigers. Well, he, he's going to grab this one so he gets himself an eagle. That will also activate the rats. So where does he want the eagle to go? I guess somewhere over here because if he can get rabbits just like that, then he could have a straight line eating a bunch of rabbits later on. That's pretty good. All right, rat time. So this rat goes in there. My rat will go over there. And what do I do? I'm not really sure. I know the game is out for Digital Spiel and maybe Pandasaurus Games can, can answer that question uh, in the chat if the game is out in the US right now. What's the question in the chat? I'm gonna grab one of these rabbits over here. So I do, and that gives, also gives me another mountain, which is not bad. So, put down like that. Right. Mm, Graco. I think Graco is. Uh, he kind of wants to have a. That's not good with the rat. Okay, uh, now this is where the game, you know, the brain puzzle starts for real. <laughs> so, well, if he gets this one, I think this is okay because I don't have any tigers. And Draco has a tiger, so he's happy to activate the tigers now. That's that's one main thing I guess you want to look for strategy-wise. Activate the stuff that your opponents don't have. And I think he will just place it down like that. If we can move this whole thing a little bit. There we go. That's like okay, there we go. I think it I think it was like that. Right, so we have the rat up there. And now let's activate tigers. So Draco will eat the rabbits. That will get him another tiger in here. The only problem is that he's, you know, getting low on prey, but I think that's cool. All right, let's go back to my turn. I kind of want more frogs. So I guess I should just, I should just take this. So the way this will work is I will get another mountain. Maybe I want to have it so close. Maybe like this. I think that's cool. I'll take the volcanoes. I remember this is my turn uh, doing all this. So frogs activate. So three frogs. That is really good. One. No. Oh, one. Two. So the eagle can eat them. And three. Draco gets a frog as well. He only has one though. So over there he can get another one. The wild space. And then we have dino activation. So I'm gonna spend an egg to get a third. I hope I, I can figure this out now. Um let's see. I cannot eat this guy. And I don't I don't want to eat the eagle because I want him to fly and eat frogs. So I want to keep these frogs here. Let's have this dino go one, two, three, eating a frog. He's okay. This one goes one, two, three. He's eating a rabbit. He's okay. Now this one can just go back and forth and he's going to eat a eat a rat and go back. And then I keep this space open again. So, so that's, that seems pretty good. Okay, Draco. Draco's dinos. What, is he, what are they doing? Can he get a fourth one? Yeah, he can. Okay, so he's gonna spend an egg. More, uh, more, more, more dinos, the better, right? So this one down here is pretty easy. It's just gonna eat a frog, go back. This is gonna eat a rat and go back. This is gonna eat a rat and go back. He's really running out of prey now. This one will eat two tigers though. So that's giving him two more eggs. He has 10 points now. What am I at? 3, 6, 9 points. Okay, so Draco is in the lead. And then we also will move this guy. We will refill. So 
a lot of tiles now. Tiger and an eagle. And here we have froggy, rat, and a rat. And finally, we're into the D stack. We get another tiger. We're getting close to the end, and Draco is in the lead. I need to, I need to do something. I'm just gonna exchange these for a golden egg. Okay, so that was my whole turn, Draco. What are you doing, buddy? He really needs prey. Or he's gonna be in trouble. So I think he will take this. He will put it up here for another rat. And it's also another mountain space, so he can move there later on. I want to activate frogs, I think. So then I need to work on these. I could go. Oh, this is actually good. I could take this. We place it like this, so when the eagle activate later on, this eagle could eat like that, that eagle could eat like that. That's pretty good. Draco's turn. And should he? Yeah, I think he's just going to activate the rats. He's just going to take this. And where does he want to place the frog, though? Probably somewhere around here. Like this. That's all out of camera. Uh, there we go. So when the frog activates, he can spread to two frog places. That's pretty good. Now we'll do the the rats. So Draco gets two. Put them like that. I get one rat. We're here maybe. And that is it. Okay, my turn. Gonna activate frogs. I'd rather activate frogs after I, I activate the eagles. Let's take this. And this one can go here somewhere, maybe like that. Uh, I, as soon as the eagles activate, I'm going to eat a lot of stuff, a lot of frogs, <laughs> rabbits. Okay. So, Draco, what do you want? He doesn't care for, well, he sort of cares for frogs, but he rather get, yeah, he rather get something else, a tiger maybe? Yeah, I think he will take the tiger. He will put it up here, move this stuff a little bit. We'll put it up here so the tiger can eat some rats here later on. All right, then me again. It's time, it's time. Let's do the eagles, get them going. So, where do I want the tiger though? I guess it's not a bad idea to have him up here because then the dinos can eat him later on. Like that, and Eagle activation. So let's do me first. It is my turn. So let's see. This guy will go one, two, which means I get another eagle instead of these frogs. This one will go one, two, so I get another eagle here as well. I think this is how I can catch up to Draco on points. And this one will sadly have to go one, two. He can only eat one frog, but he's alive at least. Then over at Draco's place, he will go one, two, three in a straight line. Just keep the eagle alive. And then we go back to Draco's turn again. We could activate a tiger, but that will benefit me as well. Frogs will sort of, well, frogs will be as, you know, yeah. No, he's going to take this. He's going to work on getting another frog because he can see that the frog activation is coming soon. So why not? Build up for that, right? Like this. Okay. So my turn. Oh, I just realized something. Draco doesn't have any rabbits. 
So if I grab this and activate rabbits, that's just going to benefit me. That's awesome. Okay, so I get another rat. And where would I place it, though? Maybe down here. So I, it's also giving me another mountain space, so I can have more options here. So that rat will just be some food right now, like one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three. Yeah, well, we'll see how that goes. And now we'll activate the rabbits. I will get two of them. Draco doesn't get any rabbits. And dino activation. I am going to eat. Well, first of all, I'll, I'll get... I'm going to... I don't know if this is crazy. I'm going to get a fork dino. I spent an egg. This can just go one, two. It's eating a tiger. It's getting an egg. This one can go one, no, one, two, three, eating this eagle, getting an egg. This one can just eat a rabbit, stay alive, I think, and just move back. This will eat one, two, three, four. He's eating two eagles. That's two more. So I'm up to nine, ten. I'm up to 13 points. That feels good. All right, Draco, what can you eat? What can you eat? Can't really get that many points. I guess this will just stay alive by eating a frog. This one can go one, two, eat a, a rat. This can go one, two, Three, four, five, eat a eagle, he gets an egg. And this one will go, uh, well, I can't move through them. So one, two, three, I don't want, no. One, two, three, four, yeah. All right. So now we're going to um, move the dinosaur here and we're going to refill. Let's grab these tiles. We're really close to the end of the game now. More frogs or us and rats tiger and yeah it's gonna be one more refill for the end okay that was my turn Draco Draco is up wow he really needs it just to, to keep his dinosaurs alive he needs more more prey more more stuff to eat basically Oh, he does not want to activate uh, tigers because then the tiger will go starving. He can't reach anything to eat. Well, he can because he could eat the rat that he gets at the same time. But no, nah, I don't think that's a good idea. I think he kind of wants... If he gets this one and he's hoping that I activate the frogs, that could work out for him. So just place this up here. He has a bunch of frogs over there now. And then my turn. Do I want to act I don't want to activate the frogs. Well, rabbits, rabbits are awesome because Draco doesn't have any rabbits. Let's do this. I also get a frog. So where do I place this? I'm going to have a bunch of rabbits. And let's place it down here. And so I get three rabbits. One. Oh, but that guy is... He's not adjacent to anything, so I only get two. Uh, but that's good. Draco doesn't get any rabbits, and that was my turn. So Draco again, he needs... Wow, yeah, he's falling behind here because of, he's not getting enough prey. So let's take this so he at least get a rat. Well, he does have the frogs. Oh, wait, he wants to activate the frogs, so let's do this. So he will place this down here. And now he's going to activate all those lovely frogs. And he wants to have the tiger standing by ready here to start eating. So he will get three frogs in total. One, two, three. I will get three frogs as well, though. Yeah, Draco's food chain is out of balance. I don't know what he's been doing. And... Uh, Okay, so yeah, yeah, so now he wants to activate the tigers next. But it's my turn, and I don't think I want... I don't care for tigers, I don't have any. 
So I rather work on this, getting more rats and getting closer to activating rats. Just placing it right there. Draco will get the tiger though. So what happens here? Oh yeah, yeah, you can feed this tiger this way. So you can place this up here. Now this tiger can go here and just eat that rat that just showed up. And down here, this, this tiger will be happy because he can eat two frogs, which will breed another tiger. Wait, 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 this will be too far away for his dinos to, to get them. So it's better he goes this way, one, two. And gets another tiger here. So this dino can go one, two. Oh yeah, something like that. I don't know. <laughs> I'm not doing the best strategic play here. Uh, well, you know, demonstrating how the game works. Hey Bjorn. Afternoon to you. All right, so my turn. And I think this will be the end of the game because I think I will activate the dinosaurs. Uh, well, I'm gonna activate the rats first. So a lot of things will happen here. I will place this somewhere near a dino so he can eat it up here. And then rats activate. So rats, rats, rat. This guy is stuck though, so he can't breed. Track only has one rat. It's one over there. Then dino activation. I will spend an egg. So I get a fifth dinosaur. I hope this works out. And where do I start eating? Well, this is obvious. Eating this guy gets me an egg. And these will just basically move back and forth eating stuff so they stay alive. Uh, and this one though, this one can score at least one point. One, two, three, four. Eating these, that gets me another egg. So I am up to 10 eggs. Okay, Draco, he is going to, oh, can he get, can he, is it, let's see, could he get a, not a fifth dinosaur? I mean, this one can eat that. That one can eat that. One, two, three, one, two, three, four, five. Ah. Uh. Oh, if he moves this first, actually. Yeah, yeah, so he's going to spend an egg. Getting another dinosaur. And then this, this will go one, two, three, four, five. That gets him one egg. That leaves this space open, so this guy can go. No, it's no, no, no. He needed to keep the frog out here. So this guy can go one, two, three, four, five, eat the frog, so he stays alive. Now we open up space so that, well, this one can go up there, eat the tiger. That's another egg. This one can go one, two, three, eat the rat. And this can go one, two, three, four, five, eat the rat. So, yeah, everyone is staying alive. Well, the dinosaurs are staying alive, uh, not the prey, obviously. And now we are going to refill, but we are out of times. We only have four. I think the game ends instantly, but that was my turn. Is it equal turns? So Draco gets another one because I no, he started actually. Um, yeah, if there are not enough ecosystems to fill up, uh, ends immediately. Yeah, so the game is over. Okay, I think I won. So I have ten eggs plus five dinosaurs. Got the camera with me as well. So that is fifteen points to me. Draco, I think he's one point behind because he has nine eggs and he has five dinosaurs. Yeah, so Draco has 14. So 14, 15. I actually won a game against Draco. Whoa, hooray. Sorry, Draco, you can't win them all. He won yesterday and he's probably going to win later on today as well. So yeah, I'm happy that I won. This game is really fun. I uh, really had a good time. I think it's even more fun, I would say, if, you know, 
they were playing more players and I wasn't talking to the camera and all that so I could focus on some strategy and how I build and how I will move my dinosaurs later on, how the predators will eat, uh, all that, you know, planning that goes into it. And I'm very, you know, I have a weak, you know, soft spot for uh, nice components in games. I mean, these are just so lovely, the little meeples. The way the you know the artwork, the way you know everything looks nice in this game, and uh, it's so you know it's so thematic as well. Um, I mean, the, again, the only thing I'm missing is like where does the dragons come in? There should be like a, a you know a promo dragon thingy that flies in and eats some dinosaurs or something like that. Otherwise, this game is really really cool. And um, yeah, thank you, thank you to Pandas Hours Games for sending it to me. Thank you for being in the chat. Thank you to everyone who's watching uh, live as well. And to everyone watching afterwards, you can tell me in the comment section down here uh, if you have any questions or any, you know, uh, impressions you want to share about the game and so on. We'll be back in, let's see, in an hour with Seven Wonders Jewel Agora, the new expansion for Seven Wonders Jewel. I'll, I'll be facing Draco in that one. And so I hope you will be watching then as well. We'll be back tomorrow with more uh, streams as well, since it is Spiel Digital. If you haven't already, go check out the Spiel Digital site where you can, you know, find a lot of fun stuff, new games coming up, and you can also try them out in a lot of demos on Tabletopia and Board Game Arena and so on. So thank you so much for watching. Have a great evening or morning or whenever you're watching and take care. Bye bye.